Well, Mason and Sarah say love is more than just skin deep and they both join us now live from New York and welcome. It's so lovely to see you both here today. Um, how, how did this relationship begin? Because actually, Sarah, it was you that first contacted Mason on Facebook, didn't you? You asked, uh, you offered, you tried to get a friend request. Why did you do that? Well, a friend of mine was actually telling me about him and she said he was a former child star. I wasn't familiar with any of his work, so... I just looked him up on YouTube and I saw his videos and I thought, wow, this kid's really fascinating and I think he would be a good connection to have. So I added him on Facebook and he was commenting on my photos and we had a little bit of conversation, but I was already kind of talking to somebody at the time and I went to this convention and Mason was telling me that he was also going to the convention. So we had a little bit of correspondence and... Mason showed up at my table where I was signing pictures and then we just started talking for three hours. And, yeah, yeah, it and, was pretty crazy. And then he said to me, uh, I'd like to grab a drink with you later. So I ditched the other guy and I hung out with Mason and we just made out for like the whole night. <laughs> but, but, but made made out. I mean, you you kissed you kissed until sort of three a.m. Didn't yes. you? I mean, it was like an it. Mason, yeah. was this for you? For you? Um, you know what was going on in your head at the time? To be very honest with you, I don't even know what was going on inside my head. Um, the bottom line was, and I've said this a, a few times already, at most, to me, it was, you know, innocent, playful flirting, really. Um, I, I didn't think that this really beautiful, young uh, adult model would find anything remotely fascinating about a 54-year-old old man. Um but she did, and seven months later, I'm thrilled. But that night, really, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be anything more than a diet soda for me and a drink for her and some innocent flirtation. But it turned out to be uh, a little more than that. He made a promise to me at the end of the night that he would call me every day while he was in L.A. He was out there for about a month, and... After he got back, I just went to New York, and we've practically lived together ever since. Yeah, she's basically been living in my apartment <laughs> since December 4th, um, give or take a few days where she had to travel a little bit on the road, but basically been living with me. So what is it? Tell us, what is it you see in each other? What do you, what do you love about one another? Uh, I'll let her go first. I think Mason's really smart. We laugh together all the time. We have things in common. Like, we love to shoot pool. Yep. That's one of our favorite things to do. We love to eat out at yep. restaurants. We love to eat out at nice restaurants. We love to kind of just cruise around my neighborhood on the Upper West yeah, Side. Yeah, I love cruising around on the mobility scooter. It's really fun. But the truth of the matter is, is that it's really a lot of fun. What, um, We've been uh, getting a lot of stares on the scooter. Well, uh, yeah, we're a not lot of surprised. Stare at us. <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe oh. the dog in the basket at the front that's getting the looks as well. <laughs> yeah, um, well, right, right now he's on the floor right here. In we front just of my heard feet. him bark. You can't see we him. just heard him. Thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah. Sarah, what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what he'll, he'll be quiet. What do What do you do for a, a living, Sarah? I do adult modeling work. Uh, two, about two years ago, I started doing cam work. So. I'm a cam girl. I've kind of done like softcore adult work. That's mostly what I do. Because uh, there was also um, a website that you were on where you were a, a sugar baby. Is that is that right? That's, so these are these are girls that go onto this website to find a sugar daddy that sort of give, gives them money to take them to dinner or, and and that sort of thing. And and because of that history, there are people who have sort of been quite unkind about this and sort of said, well, you know, she, this is this is what she does. What what do you say to those people? You know, it doesn't really matter what they think because Mason and I love each other and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. They can't take that away from us. But, you know, just because I was a sugar baby doesn't mean that I'm after his money. I think a lot of girls today are actually sugar babies. Does that mean they can't find themselves a long-term relationship? I don't think that's the case. Yeah, and, and, you know, I've said before... Uh, the definition of a sugar daddy, sugar baby relationship is a man who gives money to the woman to help pay her bills, to, you know, for her apartment or her car payments or her mortgage, whatever it may be. That's not the kind of relationship that we have. Do we go out to nice dinners? Sure. 
Have I bought her a bracelet and a necklace for her to wear when we go out? Sure. But the fact of the matter is, in, in the seven months that we've been together, she has never once said to me, I'm running low this month. You know, can you help me with my rent or can you help me with my cell phone bill or anything like that? I've never handed her a dollar. Now, in the morning, when she wants to go out and get some coffee, you know, do I give her a couple of bucks for a coffee? Sure. But I don't think that really falls into the category of the sugar daddy, mm. sugar baby. I think I'm just a nice boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. He's just, he just spoils me. He's very generous. And, you know, with sugar daddies, it's not an exclusive thing. And... They give you money. So it was like I would meet up with the guy and he would just give me money and it wasn't like an emotional connection kind of thing. Right. right. Um, uh, there is an emotional uh, emotional connection because you, 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 the, the early stages of any relationship, you know, the one big step is to be introduced to parents. And and uh, and Sarah, you introduce, introduced Mason to your parents at Christmas. He went came round for Christmas. He yeah. came to Boston for Christmas, and my dad loved him because my dad actually knew who he was the yeah, he moment was he my... met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, so that... did they they uh, uh, unconcerned with the with the age difference. Well, I've actually brought one other guy to my house for Christmas before a few years ago, and he was forty. So I don't think my parents are too concerned. I think they know that I like older guys by now. And they love Mason. I think they're just happy I'm not with a guy who's a bad boy. Yeah, no, fair enough. And and marriage, is that on the cards? Because, Sarah, that's something that you, you want, isn't it? I definitely do want marriage at some point. <laughs> I told, we made a deal that in, if we're still together in two years that we would get married and we've talked about yeah. getting promise rings. We would love to get them pierced in our fingers, though. Yeah, there's a technique, uh, like a subdermal technique, yeah. where they put either a diamond or a platinum ball, and they put it into subdermally into your finger, uh, which is kind of different, and that it's is. definitely a commitment type of thing. Um, but, you know, I'm 54, and I've never really felt the rush to get married. It's not something that was ever that important to me. But Sarah looks at it in a much more conventional manner than I do. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. Um, so the bottom line is, is that if it's important to her, it's important to me. Um, so therefore, maybe at the one-year mark, we'll do the ring. And at the two-year mark, if we haven't killed each other by then, uh, as I like to say, um, if one of us hasn't committed homicide on the other one, her probably likely to kill me, um, then, you know, we'll, we'll absolutely, you know, do the rest of the whole commitment thing and, well, I and love settle it. down. I love it. I love it. She can't keep your, her hands off you. I know. And, and, and also, the great thing about the rings well, is look at this. No, look at this. No, we're both, we're bo listen, we're, bo we're like both we very affectionate people. <laughs> I know. I, know. I think well, I'm the, more affectionate than you. Well, the She's whole... more affectionate than I am, I think, but I'm, more, but I'm more sentimental than she is. And you're more sexual than she is. I do have a little bit higher of a sex drive than she does. Um, I've always kind of been a, a, a highly sexually driven guy. I know I don't look like it, but I am. Um, you know, and, and she's a fairly busy young woman. So sometimes at night she's a little bit tired or I'm a little bit tired or, you know, the schedules don't quite match up. But I, I think we, we average about twice a week. Yeah, and I'm happy with twice a week. I feel like twice a week is a lot. Yeah, that, that's a good compromise <laughs> that wears for me. me. Out. Yeah. I, I might be happier with three, but twice is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Do you know what? This shows if this show couldn't get more unusual but also connected. Niall Rogers, who is our, our guest uh, on the show a little bit I later on today. I know you do. He's just told <laughs> He's just our told team him. downstairs. He lives next door to you. Niall literally lives across the street from me. <laughs> I didn't know this. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll send and the funny, th the funny thing is, the funny thing is, he's so busy traveling all over the world doing his thing, I never see him. We really don't see each other well, very keep often. Watching and you'll see but him know, on the show. But I know exactly where he lives. <laughs> we'll send you regards to uh, Guys, neighbor. thank you so thank much. You. Lovely Please to see you. Thanks, Sarah. Thank, thank you. you. Oh. Thank you, guys. Bye, Bye now. Guys.